Hello everybody, my name is Victor and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can quickly and easily debug failed subgraph using the new subgraph forking mechanism. In order to keep things simple, I'm going to use the example subgraph which you can find in the graph protocol's GitHub repository. The example subgraph is a pretty simple indexer for the gravatar entity which consists of an ID, an owner, display name, and image URL. If we peek into the mapping file, we can see two handlers, one for the new Gravatar event and a second one for the updated Gravatar event. The new Gravatar event simply tries to store a new Gravatar into the graph nodes store, whereas the updated Gravatar event tries to update an already existing Gravatar. However, if no such Gravatar is found, it critically walks unexpected Gravatar not found and returns from the function. And this seems logical because, well, you cannot update a Gravatar that does not exist. However, when I deploy this simple subgraph to the hosted service, I get a failure. Usually what I will do uh, with a failure is go back to my mapping file uh, try to find the bug, make some changes, redeploy to the hosted service, wait for the whole subgraph to resync up to the failed block, which in my case is block 6 million and something else. Hope it passes this block and hope it never fails again uh, up to the latest block. Um, and this, as you might guess, and probably even experienced, is extremely time consuming process. Um, but I can be a bit smarter. I can take advantage of the fact that even though the currently deployed subgraph has failed, its, its state is still synced up, up to block 6 million. And really, that's what subgraph forking is all about. It allows you to take advantage of an already synced up state by, metaphorically speaking, forking off from another subgraph. So to save some time, here is what I'm going to do. I'm going to copy the block number on which my subgraph failed. I'm going to go to my subgraph manifest file, which is the subgraph.yaml file. And under data sources, source, I'm going to add a new field called start block. And paste the number. In this way, I'm telling my graph nodes to skip all the syncing up to block 6 million, or in other words, start from the block on which I failed. In order to support the subgraph forking process, I would also need to spin up a local graph node. If you do not know how to build graph node from source, please consult the documentation. Apart from all the standard arguments to graph node like Postgres URL and Ethereum RPC, I'm also going to pass a new argument specific to subgraph forking called forkbase, which in my case is a URL pointing to api.thegraph.com slash subgraph slash id. This basically tells my graph node that I'm going to do subgraph forking, so be prepared for it. I'm going to Take, take subgraphs from the hosted service, which is api.thegraph.com slash subgraphs, and I'm gonna pick my uh, subgraph by ID. Okay, let's run that. Next, let's go back to uh, my, my subgraph. I'm gonna open the terminal here, and I'm gonna create it locally first. And then, I'm gonna invoke graph deploy with all the standard arguments like subgraph name, IPFS URL, and not URL, but also the subgraph forking specific argument, debug fork, which is the ID of the subgraph I'm, I'm going to fork off from. In my case, this is the ID field in the hosted service. So I'm gonna copy that and paste it. I don't care about the version. Okay, let's now see the local graph nodes logs. 
um, we see a few errors. We also see the critical unexpected router not found and handler skipped, server of error, error critical locked. And here it is in handler, handle updated router. But we already knew that. So let's view our mapping file again. And we're pretty sure that the error is resulting from this lock critical. Um, and there are actually two bugs here. The first one is the fact that we are storing new gravatars with ID represented as a hexadecimal number and then the string, but we are trying to retrieve them by an, by an ID which is represented as an integer 32 bit. So what I really need to do is also retrieve them as, hex, as a hexadecimal number. The second issue is a bit more subtle and that's the fact that a few Ethereum users have used the updated Gravatar event for the purpose of creating a new Gravatar. So really, I should not be logging critical when a Gravatar is no. What I need to do is create a new Gravatar. Now let's go again through the process of deploying locally, again with the debug fork. Now hopefully all goes well and viewing at the local graph nodes locks, it seems to be working just fine. It seems to be indexing without any errors. So now I can happily go and deploy to the hosted service. Thank you very much for your attention and I hope the new subgraph forking mechanism saves you a lot of time.